This is a high-level overview of our ArcGIS ServiceNow integration. In this ServiceNow demo instance, we are logged in as Howard Johnson. Howard is an enterprise architect. He also works closely with the facility and asset management teams. Linking together the powerful digital workflows of ServiceNow and the mapping technology Esri provides by leveraging the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, our goal is to make it easy to find and perform actions against the data that you care about. This application primarily uses data you already have populated using native ServiceNow tables, so configuration is easy. Let's close the toolbar. On the left is the Layer List widget, and it shows the various map layers that can be made visible. Recently, Howard has been asked by the CIO to investigate an SAP outage. Let's join him now. Howard notices this red dot, which he knows represents an outage on the map. Clicking on Additional Items on the right side of the widget will open up the System Status page. This opens the ServiceNow external colleague-facing system status page from the service portal. Anything from the service portal can be accessed from within our ArcGIS map. You can see this outage on the service portal page matches as it's pulling data from the same table. Let's take a look at our application services as we've defined them within ServiceNow. As Howard turns on the SAP service layer of our map, there are different locations that make up this service. The items can also be seen from a list view. This service is in four locations. Clicking on the locations show the data centers that make up the SAP service. Here's the Las Vegas data center. The pop-up template shows different actions that we can perform. These are all calling different ServiceNow forms and workflows directly, pre-populating the data in those forms. Continuing with the investigation of the SAP service, Howard makes the IT services visible. Many different data elements make up IT services, such as computers, switches, routers, and network circuits. Howard remembers that we've had issues with point-to-point -point network circuits in the past, so this circuit piques his interest. He wants to see what would be impacted from a service perspective if this point-to-point -point circuit had issues. We see here that indeed there are many things that would be affected. Being able to determine risk prior to creating a change makes planning a change much easier. Populating the configuration item in the change form also helps reduce context switching by staying with one view. With potentially millions of configuration items to select from, choosing the correct one can be challenging. Using a map is an intuitive way to find and perform actions against your data. We still need a bit more information on our SAP service. By clicking on the dashboard icon next to SAP, we're calling the Dependency Viewer within ServiceNow. This native ServiceNow Dependency Viewer normally opens in a separate browser and can be cumbersome to use at times. Opening it within our maps gives additional context to improve that experience. We created a custom widget that shows the same data as the dependency view, but in a slightly different way. By going to the settings, Howard sets the layer depth to 8. Now we can see the service more holistically. Looking down through the various layers of infrastructure is a load balancer, which is running on a Windows server, and here are the web servers. We can see the service all the way down to the circuits and the racks. There are also actions that you can perform against any of these data elements. We can look at the configuration items record very quickly. Or we can select the Show on Map feature. This creates a new temporary custom layer on our layer list widget. Now, if we turn off all the other layers, you can see that it created a new layer from this configuration item as well as its downstream dependencies. Rather than just looking downstream on our SAP service, let's see what's being affected upstream. With a click of a button, we are now looking upstream. What business capabilities and processes are being impacted? 
If we start at the top at the capability model and move downstream through the business processes, the business capabilities, services, and down through the infrastructure layers, this provides a holistic view of your organization. We think of this as the digital twin of our organization. This provides a view of what we do and how we do it as well as an easy way to perform actions against our data. Continuing with our outage investigation, Howard remembers something was happening in New York when SAP had issues in the past. He looks at the server racks in New York to verify that everything is in order. Here are the racks, and Howard sees firewalls and switches. Here is the rack where the actual outage is located. We need to investigate this more. Perhaps there's a history of power issues with this rack, and it's not only the SAP service that's having issues. Maybe there are resource contention issues related to other servers in this rack. Using location provides additional information to review outages more thoroughly. Clicking on the home widget takes us back to our default view. We've still got all of the IT elements up. What if we combine this with external data? Going to the Layer List widget, we can also connect to external data sources. We can make the Living Atlas layer visible. This is labeled Living Atlas as it provides information from real sources curated from Esri's Living Atlas. Here are just a couple, earthquakes and wildfires. This is authoritative data coming from federal agencies. Combining processes, services, assets, and infrastructure data alongside external data provides new possibilities, including contingency planning and routing people based on environmental conditions. You can stay informed with not just your organization, but how environmental factors are affecting your organization and its people. Using ServiceNow workflows, alerts, and notifications can help create or enhance any business continuity program. Howard also works with the asset management team. He not only wants to see the employees, but also wants to see what assets are assigned to those employees. Let's look at the assets and employees. Always on top of things, Howard notices that while every employee should have an asset assigned to them, in the Seattle area it appears that at least one employee doesn't have an asset assigned to them. That doesn't seem right. The employee's name is Roy Ramsey. Is it accurate that he doesn't have an asset assigned to him? Being able to pull up data side by side, we're able to see this. Roy does not have an asset assigned to him, and we could create an incident or a request directly from within our map for follow-up. Freely moving windows around and using multiple data lists side by side saves considerable amounts of time. With this functionality, especially for a power user like Howard, seeing multiple levels of location data gives additional insight to make decisions. Shifting to a local level, we see how to manage our facility assets. From the bookmark widget, we select Las Vegas Property Management. The Acme Corporation recently won a contract to manage facilities around these hotels. Howard is assisting with the facilities management program. This facility's map layer also exists as its own map. Any layer from any map can easily be added to another map, retaining its ServiceNow role-based permissions. The fountains contain three types of fountain heads, mini, super, and extreme super shooters. To view any of these items, we can click on them. We may want to use a different base map. If we click on our base map widget, many options are available. Focusing on the fountains, we can determine if they are part of a service by clicking Impacted from one of them. This shows that they are part of the fountain service and the local Acme office in Las Vegas service. We now have an easy way to perform requests, changes, facility requests, and incidents against any of these items. The pop-up templates can also be customized. Opening the facilities dashboard shows our facility information. Any dashboard or report created within ServiceNow can be displayed to help manage what we visually see. 